and they're killing it. The dance was insane. Don't get me twisted on the dance, but I'm ranking songs today, okay? And overall, I am gonna be honest. I'm gonna give this song like a C. Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with our like team. Now today, alphas, we are here because, well, as you see, we are doing a tier list of every single xg song like all of them okay so we are here we got all the official songs by xg and we're gonna be ranking them today so i hope y'all are excited because we're gonna get into it let's go all right so as you can see i made this tier list here and it is xg all songs okay ranking all official songs by the girl group xg you feel me we got them all down here actually doesn't have that much in their discography so far but everything they've made is like top tier as you can see we're ranking them s to d there is no f tier xg has no f tier songs so we're ranking them s to d we're coming through and i'm gonna be harsh i'm gonna give you my strict opinions the completely unbiased opinion the truth the absolute fact as to what the best xg song is and y'all can tell me what yours are down below honestly i want to talk with y'all i want y'all to tell me down below what you think what your favorite xg song is so make sure to get with me down below and without any further ado if you want to support me you can over on my patreon where you know we'd be listening to xg albums if and when they drop one hopefully their next comeback is like a whole album like you know the girl giving era but we'll see and then without any further ado give me a like on the video if you enjoy the post and uh subscribe if you're brand new with all that being said though we're gonna get into it so yeah let's talk about the songs that we are ranking today okay so here we are on xg's official streaming service look at them looking beautiful pretty as always lordy all right so scroll down we got the albums they've released one album they did that last year in the middle of the year where they promoted every single song off the album with a music video with something like that's insane and then we obviously have their singles that they've dropped all the way since they debuted with tippy toes up until the most recently winter without you and we're going to be ranking all of them including okay it's an official song if they put it on streaming services this includes things like remixes put out by the company with features just changed instrumentals all that sort of stuff so that's also on the album and now let's talk about it this is the point of contention the point where everyone's going to be like oh hold on are these are technically okay so here's the thing covers <laughs> so um i went through the xg channel and opened every single one they've done so far i'm pretty sure we got them all here and i i listened to all of these and i love all of these some of these i love just as much if not more than their like official songs on streaming services we have tape one which is iconic the first thing from xg that i ever saw music wise was this and i knew they were going to be a problem okay but we also have xg tape 2 the iconic gals cypher how do you even like hype this up how do you talk about this this has 29 million views for like not even okay and then we have tape 3 tape 3 a and b like you know we got nothing okay then we got the the peaches with the, the second everything i saw musically from them and it i'm still stunned from this this group is talented and then nobody love okay we got t vox 3 vox 4 vox and then 5 was the the glee and then also we even have the um unreleased uh song that i checked out a few weeks ago your best friend it's a cover but it's got this little video it's only on jacob's instagram but shout out to this oh, so here's the thing we're only gonna take one of each now as much as i would love to rank all of these because i love all of them and listen to all of them they're not really official songs but i can't do it as an alphas as someone who's checked out all of these and listens to all of them when i do these tier lists i only want to rank official stuff so we can keep it official keep it within the mm, this is like but at the same time uh th i listen to these a lot more than i do like something like a remix that is on streaming services which we will still rank and i still love those but uh we're picking one one rap one vocal and well come on we had to do it to him you know what we're picking we're picking the cypher i mean come on now it's even got like transitions between all the songs that make them sound fluid so you could even argue it's one song but you would also argue that it's four songs in one and i'm cheating by doing this but i, I have to rank this and i mean y'all can probably predict where it's gonna go and then as far as the vocals go call me cheater times two this is basically another four songs four hitters but this is mostly here because of uh shape of my heart by judia judia might be the goat i i don't know what else to say about that judia might be the goat she's just it's she, wow so uh, yeah that's everything we're ranking today i hope y'all are excited and with all that being said let's just get into it this is gonna be a fun time a heated time a stressful time i haven't even thought about this shit i haven't thought about where i'm putting some of these songs we're just gonna do it live on camera i'm gonna show you my reaction and we're gonna get into it so let's go Snacking on the world, it's a bit of gaming mode. When I don't know, he's sober with your silly toe. Here's a tip, though. 
Okay, so up first, we have the song Tippy Toes. Now, this is their debut. I remember when I checked this out, fresh after they debuted. And I, because I, I was chilling on my homepage, you know, I'm a pretty big fan of like this group content, this idol lifestyle. And then this group shows up out of nowhere doing dance covers. And I was like, whoa, well, hold on, they kind of cool for real. Who's this Chisa girl? <laughs> Chisa, my bias, by the way. Ah, man, her dance cover is insane. But then they dropped, obviously. Peaches, I was like mind blown and chill. Oh my god! Uh! So then, ha, well, you know what we had to do. We had to come through and check out the debut in my own time. I was listening to it. I was vibing, but it never blew me away as much as a lot of their more recent work did. When I first checked it out, I was like, the rapping in Joe Kill was like much better than this, but this is still good. And they're killing it. The dance was insane. Don't get me twisted on the dance, but I'm ranking songs today, okay? And overall, I am gonna be honest. I'm gonna give this song like a C. Don't click off the video alphas. I swear to you it gets much better from here We only keep going up, but we're starting off with like a C little C, you know, it's just what it is Okay, so <laughs> up next we have mascara their first comeback and first release and if you look at my channel It is my most viewed reaction to XG the first video I ever made on XG and still the most viewed because well There's a reason it? it's just a good song, right? We got to move up from C tier. We are we're moving up to a B tier so let me explain <laughs> Let me explain, okay? We're only moving up one spot because I'm doing this entire tier list in regards to XG's catalog, their discography as a whole. I think XG's discography is honestly so good that as much as when I first heard Mascara, I thought it was probably S tier. And I'm not saying it's really moved down much since I first heard it. I'm just saying it was S tier in regards to, oh, this is a really good idol song. They're killing it. I might need to look into these girls. I quickly did, but... <laughs> Let me just say this, we're about to go up from here on the tier list, so just like, hold tight, sit still, it's go, it's getting better. If for any of you that are mascara enthusiasts, mascara is your song, your mascara stands, I feel you. Okay, let me know where you would have put it down below, I'd love to talk with y'all, but we moving on. So that's, hey, that's just what it is, let's go up. It's time. We're going up. Now we're going up. You know what we're doing. We're shooting up even. Shooting Stars is up next. It's Shooting Star time. Man, y'all already know I like this song. Because, like, you can literally see me lose my, my everything. I do, I do, A1, Flawless, Make Them Go Insane, Pandemonium, Riot, Always Looking Fresh, Got the Green in My Diet, Moving On Up, A Tears, How We Riding, Yeah, Yeah, Drip, Drip, Drippin', XG in the A Tier Feeling, Oh, you, oh, come on now, come on now. It's A Tier, like, bro. This song, they did something musically with this one that, like, with Mascara, I was like, oh, okay, this is just, like, a uh, a good song. It's a banger, but, it, like, and I love that, okay? I'm an EDM fan. I love the bangerness they had. But it's not, like, pushing the genres of music or pop music or just this, like, girl crush, even this swag type of, like, girl group sound. It's kind of just doing what a lot of people have already done. But with Shooting Star, it still had that swag about it. But it had, like, that chorusy bit and that bridge bit where they really flexed their vocals and they really showed off, like, we're taking this sound and adding something unique and something really cool and xge to it i don't know how to explain it but with like the other two songs i really loved them but i felt like finally some of that stuff we were seeing from like the b sides that stuff they're uploading to their channel the covers the dance practices all that just even the music video it all came to one with shooting star and i was just like okay so this is what a proper xg at the top of their game release feels like and that's what I thought at the time, at least. So it's an A tier. We're slowly working our way up, you feel me? We're getting there. Like, I swear we're getting there. Come on now! Okay, so left, right, you feel me? It's time. We are here, and... <laughs> You already know what I think about this one. I remixed it. I added my own verse where I did a play on everything left, right, because I liked the song so much, I felt like I gotta hop on this one. This one, gas. Took your heart from your chest, that's a theft, right? Saw you walk in, knew that you was blessed, right? When I first heard this, I was like, Shooting Star is just that song. It has a B-side. I listened to it. 
Oh my god, you can literally see my first reaction on the channel, man. Uh, still to this day, even though I, I debatably over listened to this song for me personally, I still can't deny the impact this song had on me. How much I just, it's, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they took everything that they could do and they really opened my eye. I said, oh, so this song, it has like that R&B vibe that now I love XG4, like that classic R&B vibe. It has like some saucy lyrics. It has some just great production. It has just amazing rapping and singing and oh, it's just, it's just a good, this is like the encapsulation of everything an XG song can be. And that's why it's one of their best. And I, for for like a long time, this is probably going to stay being one of my favorite XG songs. Just because it's the first real like, this is just perfect XG. If I said shooting, shooting Star was like, oh, this is like XG finally in their form. This is what it could be if XG fires on all cylinders as a title track. But then Left Right is just like, this is perfect XG. We need to start building off of this for the future. Shadow got the five flame flavor. When the spice kicks, should taste the game changer. Big words coming out of them, no brainer, but I just can't cut it. We're sick in the top, break the zone. All right, y'all, you know what time it is. It's time to do the first rap that we are ranking on this tier list. It is Gal's Cypher time. Really, this was like the defining moment in my Alpha's career, as it was for a bunch of you too. I was already, okay, I wouldn't say this was the first time I heard of them. A lot of people, this is their first time hearing them. I was already almost a fan. I was debatably already a fan. Well, no, I was a fan, debatably already at Stan. I was really starting to get into that Stan world. And then I checked out Gal Cypher. I was late to this. Okay, but when I inevitably checked this out, checked it out right before I checked out Shooting Star, um, hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, this was that turning point for me. This was it. I checked this out and I said everything that I thought. Because I remember. Remember I checked out Chico and I was like, this Chill Bill remix is gas. They're insane. But I haven't seen them rap to that ability or with that much confidence and swag in their title tracks yet. And then this dropped. Man. They done flipped that on its head. They instantly became, with this one release, probably... At least in my top five, if not my like top three most hyped about rap lines in the girl group side of idol culture that I keep up with. I'm mostly a K-pop stand, and, and I'm not going to throw the K-pop uh, a word on XG, even though they do promote in Korea like a K-pop group. They are technically a global girl group full of Japanese members. I know how it is. I love these girls. Um, But here's the thing. I was like, ain't no one rapping like them low-key. We got some people like Soyeon of Idol, who's like, in my opinion, the best girl group rapper. But they're out here, out, like, they're actually like, and they seem like they're about this hip-hop stuff. Hoffman on a J.I.D. beat, hold on. And that was before Surround Sound blew up, and they were part of the reason that song, like, super blew up recently. And so, like, man, C to the O-C-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-V-P-O-N-A-
cat something or other i don't remember but rico nasty be kind of cooking sometimes um i feel like the chorus of this is actually quite catchy i don't know how the the flip she did i'm blinding my haters it's not expected at all because it changes the rhyme scheme, changes the syllable count, changes everything. The flow is entirely different, but it's just catchy. I don't know what to say. I, I be vibing. A nice catchy song, simple remix. I'm vibing. And they basically kept the same beat. There are a few beat changes in here and a few little things here and there. They added some cool harmonies in the background. But um, overall, I'd probably still listen to the normal shooting star over this one. It's just, I like this song. So we're putting it in the B tier for Bars Remix. Okay, now we got the chill remix and guys I have to let you know I am an EDM lover a bit of an EDM fan I mean if you watch my channel, you know that if you've seen my XD reactions or any of my reactions You probably know that I'm an EDM fan and so coming on to this album and listening to an official like EDM It's called chill remix. I didn't know what that meant. I just listened to it found out. It was a whole ass. They just man the producers by okay specifically jacobs but everyone that helped be producing these xg songs they got the vision they have the production genius they just have great producers and <laughs> it's just it's just good like it's just like it's a good remix i'd be messing with this this could have been the official instrumental and i would have lost my mind like i'm not gonna lie i loki like this just as much as shooting star the original song i they don't give me the same vibes they really don't but i just have to say that i would probably listen to this just as much as i would the um the original song so i'm putting it in a tier i love the production here it's gas Facts. Jacobs. I put off the light, watch me ride, I, blowing off the top, we getting hot, hot. Uh, Sierra, XG, Jacobs. Whoa, I, 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 oh, man, she cooked on her verse. Sierra cooked on her verse. I love Sierra's verse on this. You know me, I love left, right. Um, here's the thing. Uh, Jackson had been going on. I saw a clip. People were telling me, oh, have you seen Jackson's take on XG? He says they're like next up. They're really cool. I saw that video. And then not, but like a few months later, was it revealed that they performed an XG cover at, and then the song dropped. And then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> And then it's also got Sierra. It's like, brother. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I love Jackson. Jackson's my guy. Uh, I be keeping up with him, his releases, all that stuff. But I'm not gonna lie. Sierra on this beat, first of all, when I said that Left Right gave me those R&B vibes that I kind of needed from XG to get a Sierra feature. Do you realize how like, do you realize how crazy that is? They got a Sierra feature like this early in their career and on this album like the waves they have to be making in the scene to this early in their career get like a feature of someone of that magnitude much less jackson's a huge artist too it's like insane okay and i think sierra went crazy jackson's verse was all right for me personally i love jackson but his verse was just all right um but sierra went stupid ah brother so i'm not gonna lie i think i'm gonna end up giving this a b tier just because Jackson's verse wasn't my favorite, and I'm still gonna listen to the normal left right over the, uh, over this one, but like just the fact that this happened is so cool, and hopefully they get to work with more artists like this in the future because I thought this was fire, and I just want to see more stuff from them. So uh, yeah. All right, it's time. Girl giving, aka girl gang, you feel me? Everyone called this girl giving, including me. I still look at it sometimes and read girl giving just because, like, that is giving. It's like, just like, I don't know. It just looks like girl giving. I don't know. What do you want me to say? But girl gang. <laughs> Workflow. Also getting, also getting fight with the girl gang. Oh, my ladies are fire. Well, my Quintus female empire. Yeah. Like, come on now. It's just, it's just. Now, this, they've gone sort of back towards that mascara route that they initially, like, set out on with that first comeback where it's just like hard hitting this is a banger but they leaned a little bit more into like the hip-hop side of things with this one and can i just admit to you that this is a oh it's a hater oh nah so everything that i loved about mascara they've taken it and improved all of the qualities there i, I like bro girl gang is just like 
girl, dang, you know what I mean? Like, y'all popped off. <laughs> like, <laughs> they took the song that I already loved and made it better. Like, I'm not trying to start no drama. I'm not trying to start nothing. But this is better than Mascara. And it's essentially Mascara Part 2. And it's just, it's fire. It came out like a year later. It's gas. Much less, this is a pre-release off of an upcoming album full of hitters. One of the best albums that dropped all of last year. And y- ah! <sighs> Let's go, A tier. TGIF, thank God it's Friday, is what it normally stands for. <laughs> Come on now, actually had to flip that. Thank God I'm fly. Thank God I'm fly. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. They really did the house. They did the house song. They're doing all the genres of music. They're just really trying to, like, from the hip hop, because I love hip hop, to just like good synthy choruses to things, to house music. The chill remix is just, like, like, bro, they're just coming through and they're just taking all the types of music I like and putting it into one career. And then they're all super talented. So then they're doing the genres really well. It's like, I'm just a fan of this. XG can do no wrong i'm convinced of it and when i first heard this song ah uh, man the lyrics the confidence xg exudes in a lot of the songs especially on this album the confidence they have xg is just something else man and like i, I love that for xg xg is just insane so thank god i'm fly more like thank god i'm a tier because oh my god now i'm not gonna lie to you this already puts the tier list at mostly a tier and what does that mean about xg it means they're just insane. And I'm comparing this to XG, mind you, remember. I'm doing this tier list in regards to XG. Because otherwise, thank God I'm fly, just would probably be an S-tier song from some other artist. But I have to hold back. And I have to be like, if I compare this to everything in their discography, just let me, just hold on. And it's damn close to an S-tier. It is so freaking close. But, you know, we're keeping it where it is. Um, A-tier. Facts. Just learned a new dance, new dance, new dance. I just learned a new dance, new dance by XG. Okay, when I first heard this, I thought it was great. I did. I, you can see my reaction. I was like, "This is a banger!" Oh my god, this album is insane. But then, as time has gone on, I've listened to this song more and more and more and i just can't help but like love it i don't know what else to say it's just actually so addicting and written so well and this is just your classic pop song okay this one just has little guitar riffs and catchy melodies repeated hooks and i well, i don't know this is their take on just a good pop song oh <laughs> oh and they did it probably the best you can what do I say about this? Other than like, it's just my, it's, it's debatably my favorite XG song. Um, this is my opinion. I'm a, I, you know, and I'm just coming out there and I'm saying, sorry, not sorry. S tier new dance spelled with an S. Uh, <laughs> What do you want from me? New Dance is that song. It's so catchy. I'm so glad they prom they promoted this a lot with like the, the multiverse video and just all the different dance videos and just all that stuff. I'm so glad they were promoting this. I saw so many dance challenges they were doing with other idols with this and uh, I'm so soft. Uh, but anyways, yes, not nah, New Dance by XG, sick, insane facts. Seven, life forms detected. Accessing. All right, he's so new, right? You feel me? The little intro, little set you up for the album. Now, uh, this is the only thing where like I'm gonna bring something else into talks here, which I shouldn't do, but I'm just gonna do it. Cause he's so new as an intro, and I love intros. I'm so hype on intros, instrumentals, all that stuff for groups and albums. And I hope they continue to have intros. Not only do they set the vibe for an album, but you can just have some fire instrumentals with some cool storylines setting up and all that stuff, skits, whatever it be. But um, this one isn't. It doesn't do too much for the album. It gets you really hyped, sets the mood, has a few like narration bits, and then just overall, let's just talk about. 
right okay i have to talk about the dance here because the dance was so cool on the floor with the little on the floor and then the no no they're just so good okay they are insane i know i shouldn't bring dance into this overall i feel like i would give this the first d tier as a song but like i'm gonna be honest with you d tier is on this list just because it has to be i'm not gonna actually give you someone a d tier i'm giving it a c tier <laughs> But like, I'm honestly, I'm so ready to give this like an S tier if like their next intro is gas. I'm just letting y'all know intros for albums can be insane. So with that being said, we're going to put it where it deserves, I guess, for me, C tier. But y'all tell me where y'all would put it. Let's go. Okay, so huh, it's time for that banger. It's time for that everything I said about girl giving. Remember when I said everything about girl giving, girl gang, whatever you want to call it? It's girl gang, but like, come on now. Remember when I was going crazy and I was like, it took everything from mascara and made it better? Well, would you believe me if I told you they could do that again? Would you believe me if I told you everything you thought you knew from the the tapes you know the little rap ciphers all that stuff everything from the tapes that you love everything about the tapes that you love they took that all and they put it into a song with a great original xg slapping beat from our amazing producers and they just had the swag the confidence the aura it even had a choreo everything about it was just great except for the fact that it was short and it's just an insane song yeah yeah, no, you wouldn't believe me, but, like, that's what they did. X-Gene is an S-tier song. It's literally probably their hardest-hitting song to date, in my opinion. It just, it hits. Like, no other song. It's so good. The only thing pulling it back is that it's short. And for a lot of people, y'all care about the length. Y'all are like, oh, this is short. I'll n I hate that. I'll never listen to it or something. I don't know. What, I've seen some crazy takes like that before. Um... I'm still gonna listen to it. I'm still gonna love it. In fact, the shorter it is, the more I can replay it, the faster I can learn the lyrics, the more streams they can get, and the more money they can make, hopefully. But either way, look, I'm just gonna tell you what it is. It's a great song. Because it's short, sure, maybe to please some of you, I'll put it at the end of S tier, but um, I'm really not even ranking these like per category, like boom, 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 this is the rank in the tier, because then I'd lose my mind. I don't know, maybe I'll do that sometime in the future if y'all want me to. If you want me to do more tier lists, y'all can let me know down below, but Look, for now, I'm just like, no, no, this is an S-tier song. It is an amazing song. It is a slapper. And it, it, it really just be what it be. It is such a good song. XG can do no wrong with these hard-hitting rap cypher-focused tracks. Welcome to the puppet show, where we play them like they're plastic dolls. I know anything, 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 when we got them hanging by a string. Facts. Um, <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I mean, well, look, it be what it be. Um, I'm still kind of scared and i mean that of harvey in this music video kind of scary the way she like painted her whole mouth black and you just can't see anything but void it's giving like real life character like you're literally like an animated character but it, and it's kind of scary but look that doesn't even matter okay this song i think it <sighs> i don't know i don't know <sighs> well here's the thing New Dance, I said, was debatably my favorite XG song. And I mean that. It's just so good. It's a happy song. It's a great song. But when we're talking overall production, if we're talking just production being produced, being just amazing, I might have to give it to Puppet Show. Doom, 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 doom. They had the Jersey Beat. Okay, of course they did. Of course, like, come on now. And then they had just overall angelic productions. The chorus is a switch up in sound that you don't expect every time it comes on. You're like, oh, that hits harder than I thought it did. But there's also like some elements missing, but not in a bad way. And it's like so minimal, but so hard hitting. How did they do that? I don't know. And then like just the lyrics be getting me going. Even by Felicia, some people find it cringe, whatever. I be vibing. So I be uh, uh, buying <laughs> Felicia. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, nah, but it's just a, it's honestly and the dance performances the outfits everything about this video all of it I just I just love I am obsessed with this song I'm sure so many alphas are too and I just I don't know what else there is to say about this it's just so good it's just so good it's just so good and in fact I think this is my favorite in fact I think it is I I'm gonna say it's my favorite and it's better than new dance and I don't know tell me what you think down below this might be a D tier for you I'm not sure but give me your honest opinions I love to talk with y'all and that's the whole point I'm doing this to talk with y'all anyways so yeah with that being said we gonna move on but like A tier Okay, so X Glee Club, the little the little covers, vocal covers. This is their most recent um, Vox for vocals. But here's the thing, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, this one's insane. Judy I might be my favorite vocalist, one of my favorite vocalists right now. Out, period. She says insane too. She says my bias, but Judy, I, I, there's just something about that girl that she's just insane. Like something about Judy I just levels me out of my body and levels me up to max level and levels me flat on the ground like I've been ran over by a 17 ton kilogram truck sent from space. I don't know. Her voice on this cover that she does is insane. And similar to the cipher that we ranked earlier, the beats all transition smoothly from one to the other. There's fade outs, there's little elements they bring in. It technically is four songs, yes. and covers at that same way gal cypher was rapping over other beats but man i had to pick one of these just because i had to do them a service of ranking some of these things that they don't put on albums and they don't release officially but they're on their youtube channel and i need to rank them they're so good I had to do alphas and myself if not xg the service of ranking these this is my favorite cover from all the vocals and so since it's my favorite cover you already know where i'm putting it i'm putting it in s tier s tier starting to get crowded but who cares you can't stop me Oh man, <laughs> we made it to the end. Hopefully I actually drop sometime soon. They probably won't. Winter Without You was not that long ago, but like, man, <laughs> ah! uh, I just love them. But we're at the end and we're at the last song. And if you thought S tier is getting a bit crowded, it's going to need to step aside. As I tell you, I was lying the whole time. I've been lying this whole video. Nope. You thought I was telling the truth about New Dance? Kind of was. Puppet Show? Kind of was. Winter without you? What happened? How did they do it? I don't know. They came through and they said, best song we've ever dropped. I listened to it the first time and I thought it was great. I don't think I gave it the reaction it deserved. Because since first listening to it, I've been listening to it more. And more. And more. And more. And more. And... <laughs> It was easily my most listened to song of December. Easily. Um, still been listening to it some into January. It was my favorite winter song released this year from like idol groups, whatever. Just in general. Even if I listened to a few other winter songs, like that was my favorite. Um, it might be my favorite all time a winter song now. My favorite Christmas song. I'm not a big Christmas song person, but this song is just good. I can always come through with this and catch a vibe. Uh, the vocals might be my favorite vocal harmonizing thing i've ever heard uh, ever especially in like an idol song like this is insane from idols to do this uh maybe i'm overhyping it i don't know but y'all got guys winter without you y'all tell me where you would put it it might not be a song for you you might not like it that much but be honest with me and tell you where you would put it because it goes towards the top okay it just does so I mean, y'all tell me, this is my tier list. Let's look at it real quick. Okay, let's look together. This is my tier list. I'm putting this at the very top. I told you what I told you, and I was true. New Dance was my favorite song when I had heard it. And then Puppet Show went up, and then Winter Without You went up, as time has gone on. And those three songs, I will listen to, especially the top two, with, like, 
all like all the time i will always listen to these and they will just forever never die but all of these songs are so good we almost kept the staircase going until i added these like two extra songs in here but you know it'd be what it'd be xg really has no d tier songs they have no bad songs xg can't make anything bad i'm convinced at this point maybe they'll drop a d tier song in the future i don't know but as of right now that ain't happening it's just not so uh yeah with that being said guys i'm gonna get out of here now and edit this and get it up for you i want you to tell me down below what you think of my tier list how well did you think we do tell me how many i got wrong i'd love to know your opinion uh absolutely insult my list tell me i'm stupid and my list is trash or give me your opinion i really don't care your comments don't phase me but i'd love to talk with you and talk about xg and their music and their discography because i just love them and their discography and their music so with that being said i'm gonna get out of here now edit this and get it up for you Fred Friends, I hope you, yes you, have a good day, morning, or night, whatever time it is for you and wherever you are in the world. With that being said, give me a like, subscribe, and stay next to you. Goodbye. <laughs>